In this video, we'll learn how to publish your website on the internet. So in order to upload our website to the internet, we need two things, a .com name and a web server space. So web servers cost a lot of money. So what we do is we get a web hosting account where we can use a company server and pay just a couple bucks a month instead of paying a whole lot for our own server. And with most web hosting accounts, a free .com name or domain name is already included. So there's a number of web hosting companies out there, but there's just a couple that always end up at the top of the web hosting rankings across a number of different review websites. And one of them is Bluehost, a company that I've been with for many years now and that I've been recommending for years also. So in the description of this video, if you wanna use Bluehost, there's a discounted link and I'm just gonna walk you through signing up before we go ahead and upload our website to the internet. Okay, so once you've clicked the Get Started Now button on the front page of Bluehost, we'll be presented with three different options. And all you really need is the basic option where you can upload one website, you get one free domain name, and then you can also create a couple of email accounts if you wished. So I'm gonna hit Select for the basic option, and then we can add a new domain name or add a domain name that we already have. So I'm just gonna write Macintuts2 because I already have Macintuts.com and then I'm gonna select Next. So once we've done that, that's gonna bring us to the Create Your Account page where we can enter our account information. We can also sign in with Google. So I've added some info here that's not my real information because as you probably realize I'm already signed up and then underneath that we have the package information where we can select from 12 months to 5 years or 60 months I would recommend the 36 month option if you know you're gonna have a website for a while that way you can take advantage of the lowest price and then obviously we get the free domain and free SSL or security encryption which will give us the uh, secure sign here for our domain name along with HTTPS and the um, URL instead of just HTTP. Then for the package extras, none of this stuff is necessary, but the only thing that you might want to get is the domain privacy protection. So basically if somebody looks up your .com name, they can't get your home address or any of the information that you have. So I'm gonna leave it unchecked for now. And then uh, underneath, obviously, you can add your payment info here and then select that you have read and agree to the terms of service and then hit submit to sign up. So I'm not gonna sign up right now because I already have an account, but once you're signed up, it's gonna bring you to the login screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in to the back end automatically and this is the C panel. So we're gonna come back to the C panel in just a few minutes, but first I'm gonna show you a really great program that makes it super easy to upload our websites to the internet so we can streamline it and make changes to our websites on the fly. And that program is called FileZilla. So let's go ahead and get FileZilla, then we'll come back to C panel to get a few credentials to use FileZilla to upload our website to the internet. So do a Google search for FileZilla, and this works for Macs and PCs. So then you want to select Download FileZilla Client. So once you have FileZilla downloaded, all you need to do is go up to Site Manager, and then we're going to add a new site. This, is, this will be your Bluehost account. So all that we'll need for the new site is the IP address for your Bluehost account, the username, and the password that you signed up with. So it's very simple and I'll show you how to get that from Bluehost. So okay, let's go over to Bluehost and get the IP username and password. So here is Bluehost and I'm just going to log into my account. And then here is my username at the bottom down here. And then, um, so I'll just use that as well as my password. And let's get the IP address. So go up to Manage IPs. 
and then here is the shared IP address that I use. So just copy that as well as your username and your password that I hope you saved when you created your Bluehost account. And then let's bring it back over to FileZilla, the FTP account, so we can upload the website to the internet. So select New Site. You'll want to put the IP address in here under Host. Okay, and then we'll change the logon type to Normal. Then add your username and then your password and once you've done that all you need to do is select connect and it will save that information so whenever you want to connect to your web hosting account like I just did here go down to public underscore HTML and that's where we want to drop the template files or your website files onto the root domain name so that public underscore HTML will be whatever the domain name is that you signed up for Bluehost with. So I'm just going to drag and drop all of these files here and then we'll see that it has uploaded to the internet. That's exactly what's happening right now. So I'm just going to go to the test domain name that I've been using. Okay, so now if I go over to drewonq.com, a domain name that I don't use anymore, but here we have the website template that we uploaded to the internet on FileZilla uh, with our Bluehost account. So that does it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about using Bluehost, uh, please leave them in the video description, or you can email me at drew at w3newbie.com. Thanks for watching.